In this video, I will be showing you how to find the inverse of points and tables. To find the inverse, the only thing you need to do is switch the x and the y. In this example, 3 is x and negative 8 is y. The inverse will be negative 8, 3. 0, 2, the inverse will be 2, 0. And for negative 7, 0, the inverse will be 0, negative 7. Now, the only thing we did was switch the x and the y. We didn't change any positives to negatives or negatives to positive. In this example, we will find the inverse of this table. So still the same idea. We will be switching the x and the y. So negative 3, 9 becomes 9, negative 3. Negative 1, 1 becomes 1, negative 1. 0, 0 will be 0, 0. 2, 4 will be 4, 2. And 5, 25 will be 25, 5. We can always use that same idea of switching the x and y to verify if two graphs are inverses of each other. So let's say that the graph that has the thicker line is the original f of x. And the thinner line is the new one. Okay, so what I will do is I will find a point on the original graph. So here, the coordinate is 4, 3. So if they are inverses, I should find a point 3, 4 on the thinner graph. So 3, 4 will be right here. And so we have a match. And just to make sure, let's do the same thing with a different point. Here we have 0, negative 5, which means I should find another point at negative 5, 0, which we see over here, negative 5, 0. So we can say that yes, they are inverses. For this graph, this point, 1, 0. So that means we should find a point on the skinny graph at 0, 1. But 0, 1 will be over here. So that is not going to be a match. And so because that's not a match, we can see that these are not inverses. In this example, we will find some points to test. So here we have a point. 6, 2. So if they are inverses, we should find the another point at 2, 6 on the skinny graph. So 2, 6 is right here. So that is a match. And just to be sure, let's find another point to check. Here is another point. And notice how I am always picking points where the graph is right on a corner so we can have whole numbers. So here is negative 2. 0. And so that means we should find out another point at 0, negative 2, which will be right over here. 0, negative 2. So because of that, we can see that yes, they are inverses.